turns out that's how Benny plays, buddy. No way a marksman will flank, right? I mean, that's yeah, like an assassin Benny? kind of thing. Yeah, uh, Benny's an assassin sometimes. You can kind of say he's an assassin because of the way he plays these marksmen. He flickers forward, he looks for flanks, and here we're going to see the player head-to-head. -head. Never oh. let them know your next move. That's what Benny did. Never let them know your next move. And, and that's what makes him a force of nature. That's what makes him the storm. He just comes up. And here, leading these two players, uh, the gold laners, are these roamers, all right? Yaoi, the playmaker, and his idol, Momshu. Oh, my Venus. Again, they're two different kinds of roamers, two different kind of team captains. But the way that they lead their teams are just perfect for their play style. We've seen it, right? Again, uh, Yaoi with more flashy heroes. But for Venus, it's time to enable. But here, we're going to be put in right into the team fight. Echo with... Actually, it's Whoa. a pretty good trade now that I see it for Blacklist. Oh, Not yeah. that bad. Yeah. Benny actually fell for the airstrike, though, from Sanji in the mid lane, making it in favor of Echo. All right, something transpired in between the time we resumed and paused in. But for now, real quick, folks, Blacklist forcing out a push up top. Buff still secured per side, and we we're looking at a possible kill on Edward. Nope. That's Edward for you. Gets out in relative ease again, right? Echo trying pressure, but now it's just for Blacklist International to punish in the goal well, in the other Red side of the map, which is going to be the XP lane. They even tried to deny as much as possible from Benny. Forced to use the torn apart memory to get those last hits. This is the world stage, so I'm allowed to be a little bit more critical looking at the way that the game is transpired. Oh, oh, no! oh! We just spoke about this. Yaoi versus Venus, and Yaoi is gonna be able to find that iron hook. Oh, oh! Connecting onto Wise, bringing it back under the tier one, and that's everyone collapsing. Benny with the torn apart memory back up on that cooldown is gonna be able to secure it. Feather Edge right now on to Haji and Ohem. Haji the gonna be stunned up, has the Feather Edge strike, but both teams disengage. King and the Queen in a flash goes out. I mean, Edward able to make the most of a bad situation, but LaFell, what does this mean? First of all, I just want to say I'm so glad I was interrupted because I was about to say, <laughs> Black was actually looking pretty good because Oheb is going to scale up and Yaoi's not hitting the hooks, but never mind. Yaoi got a very crucial hook. And the thing is, this is the time where Benny Cutie, I would say, is almost at his max because he already has his Blade of Despair as well as the Fury Hammer. Enough penetration, enough raw damage. This is the time you force the fight. This is not about waiting. If you see an opportunity, just go for it. And it looks like Blacklist has already found their window. Haji pulling out Sanford. Carl Deasy losing the pull battle against Wise. Blacklist have a small favorable position over the Lord. It's closer to the south, closer to Wise. They spot Ooh. on my Venus. Yaoi throws out a hook. And now and the Lord dance continues. It's a very slow Lord dance. It's a macro. Centric play here. Mid control. Steel fought for. And that's gonna conceal though. Yeah, we're gonna be able to find Haji oh! Hunt as well. That's the damage coming through and a turn apart. Memory finds its mark. The Venom Rage to follow it through. Yeah, we're gonna be taken down. Sanford jumps in with split split. Venus with the mana blast, stunning him up right now. It's called easy to be taunted up. Kind of airstrike in the back line. Oh, it's gonna be spawn caught. Wise now with the appraiser's wrath. Still able to sustain for a bit as Sanford still on that split split. He jumps back away. Still Venus going. thinking low. That's gonna be Benny dealing out of damage. Now with the turn apart memory! Benny QT with a flicker forward again. Styling on Blacklist International. That team fight could not have been better for Echo. Four down, no clap back from Blacklist, and Echo now making a beeline straight for this Elemental Lord. Okay, now Edward coming in, not gonna be able to steal, but yeah, in this game, objectives are important. And Sanford, he's gonna get chased. Will he actually get down? Yaoi stops the progression of Edward, and as I'm saying, Objectives are very important, but it doesn't have to be the turrets. It doesn't have to be the Lord kills our objectives as well. And again, Echo, their draft, they have a lot of big potential. So they're really using their draft to the finest. I like the, uh, the way that they approached it. Don't fight the Lord. Kill them first. And they did. They found bodies, pushed them all the way behind tier two down bottom. And it's putting on my Venus who just 
hit the rank first one, average assist, 10.4 per game here in M4, into a weird position. When do I use Numenon Blast? When do I protect my teammates? When do I find a proactive spot, a window for us to clap back? And it's looking harder and harder by the minute. Echo pushes mid tier one, and now they're threatening tier two as well. Watch Sanji, he's concealed. Yeah, and he pops in the feather airstrike. Zoning all have away as Edward jumps in closer. Sanji with wings by wings, getting out. Feather airstrike being popped, Sanji flickers out. Call TZ. Finding the Zetanus welcome onto Wise. Gonna be stunned up again. Oh, now flash the wall from Venus out of nowhere. Sanford still on the front line. Finnick uses even damage right now. Edward's gonna be able to jump into the back line, but the bloody hunt catches Edward. And a torn no. apart memory silences him, takes him down. Sanji with the wings by wings. Oh, he's gonna be taken low. Forced to flick around oh. by Yaoi. And Sanford flicker forward. Now, Echo still on the march. With another airstrike taking Venus down. Haji is all alone, terrifying Yaoi. Still able to survive oh! with the iron hook. Connects again. And Echo have wiped out Blacklist International. They're looking for the end. No minions on the board. They're forced to back away. Five for one plus two major objectives pushed in by the Orcas. This is both discipline and ruthlessness. LaFell, where'd they pull this from? I got, I, first of all, I gotta say, there's a reason why Franco is the most banned hero for Blacklist International. I kind of feel like going to the next game, it has to be put into contention. Now, Blacklist, how this really happens is because Echo always finds a way to actually dish out damage onto Oheb because every single fight, look at where Oheb is positioning. It's not that his positioning is bad, it's just that he has to constantly run away. He has to run away from Benicuti, he has to run away from Sanji, from Sanford, from Yaoi. There's so many ways he can get caught and it's so hard to micromanage all of it, especially when Echo, the way that they attack, sometimes Oheb doesn't see it coming. It sounds like Blacklist has been overloaded by Burst and also a good amount of CC. And those two things are lethal against a lineup like Blacklist, against the Ube Strat. And they just can't pull it off here as Benny Cutie forces a push up top. And that's a clean Where tier two tower take, gonna help destroyed. open up this luminous lord for Echo. Now 8k ahead, 8k ahead at 13 minutes. That's insane. And on top of that, Benny is on a hero like the Brody who snowballs like an absolute monster. And you can see here, this is the play by Blacklist International. They still want to contest. Lord taken to half HP. Carl TZ still on it. This is the Lord Dance. And the mid lane pressure will be popped in from Echo. 8,000 gold lead. The Feather Airstrike will be popped in the zone. Other members away. Carl TZ with that as well. Combining in Haji stealing. The Feather Airstrike again. The Feather Spray. Dino the Blast Blast. Why steals it away? Yaoi got the bloody hunt. But it's all for oh, oh, oh. all alone. Yaoi's gonna be gunned down. 